Hello friends, welcome to Cloud Buy. In today's video, uh, I'm going to discuss uh, how to replicate on-premises Oracle database to AWS RDS Oracle using Golden Gate. Yeah, this is the uh, very high level architecture of the, uh, the replication through Golden Gate in Oracle. Uh, here you can see that, you know, I'll be replicating through uh, uh, Golden Gate Hub. Um, that means and uh, from the on-premises to the RDS. I don't have any on-premises server or something. So I'll be using a EC2 for uh, on-premises. You have to pretend that it is on-premises. Then I'll be uh, creating another EC2 instance where I will be installing this Oracle Golden Gate Hub. So it will connect the both the uh, source uh, EC2 Oracle and the RDS is the target RDS Oracle and it will replicate. So this is the high level steps I'll be discussing. Uh, the first steps uh, I'll be creating a, a source uh, EC2 machines and creating a, and install the Oracle. I'll be choosing a um, spot machine here, uh, spot uh, EC2 machine here. And thereafter, uh, I'll be creating a similar uh, spot EC2 instance for installing that uh, for my Golden Gate Hub there. And you know, I'll be installing this Oracle uh, uh, full client on the uh, another EC2 machines. And I'll be installing this Oracle Golden Gate. And I'll be connecting the both the source and the destinations. So uh, the AWS RDS also going to be here. I just forget to mention that, you know, I have to also create the AWS RDS as well. Um, and then I have to do the uh, Golden Gate setup configurations like mostly for the extract, pump and the replicate process. And then I have to, I'll be testing these replications. So the first steps is install source Oracle database. Uh, um, it's on the EC2 machines and I'll be downloading the software, install the EC2 machines, install configure the database prerequisites and uh, config install the uh, you know, database and uh, configure the listeners. Okay, so let's proceed. Let's go to the console. Uh, as I said, uh, I need a spot machine because you know why I'm going to use a spot because uh, this is less costly because this is 19C. So maybe the free tier won't be uh, possible for me because 19C require a little bit of higher memory. So I'll go to the spot request and I will find out something else. And I'll uh, first before raising the you know. Uh, requesting the spot instance I need to know the pricing history um, ideally I can go for with the t2 level things but uh, it's based on on the what of the size maybe the 4 GB should be fine for me but I'll go for the what is the spices currently and I will choose this Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, there is not much price benefit maybe I'll choose by M1 large I may not need the you know, uh, uh, M1 large M1 medium should be fine with me um, Okay, maybe uh, I'll go for the M1 medium in this M1 medium is having 3.69 should be fine with me. So I'll choose some higher bit price say 0.08 or 0.75 or 0.8 something like that. Okay, and the request spot instance um, AMI I'll choose this Red Hat change instance type. It's uh, M1 medium M1 medium. It should be fine with me. BPS is good availability zone. This one B. Keep your additional configurations. Okay, I need uh, I think 25G should be fine with me. As I said, uh, and uh, cloud all these things are not required. Security groups. I'll choose the security group four. I need two. As I said, I need one for the Oracle software, Oracle database, and one for the Golden Gate Hub. So I need two. Apply recommendations. Uh, I need. I'll choose this M1 medium. Uh, okay, and then launch. Sorry, I think I have not said the. I have not said this correctly. I have not said the maximum price. I said maximum cost. As I said, 0 0.08 should be fine. If this my bit price is higher than the market price, I should get an instance soon. I think it's coming. Should be coming. One is already come. 
I can choose that one instance is up and running. Uh, if I'll go back to the spot request and uh, choose the request ID and see the status, it says that one is fulfilled and the history is still in progress and um, status is pending fulfillment. So it's gonna take some time. I don't know what happens. The second instance, uh, it's showing progress. Okay. Um, since I got the first instance, okay, I'll installing some of the stuffs there, and uh, once I'll get the second one, I'll be working on there as well. Thank you.